Hey YouTube, this is Pokedad again, and today I've got another just quick update. This one is going to be super quick because we just have a couple more cards to review from Bandit Ring. Again, uh, we just have a day or so before the Bandit Ring is going to leak, I believe. It's supposed to come out on the 20th, but it usually leaks a day or two early, the full set. Uh, so, uh, we've got Eevee here and Registeel. Now, uh, one thing you know, uh, if you noticed before, I had an update video uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe, or maybe it was last week, about Jolteon. Uh, it allows you to have uh, all your stage ones also have electric, a bit, uh, electric double typing or lightning double typing. So uh, we knew that there was going to be evolutions. Uh, so we have Eevee here. We still aren't sure what all the evolutions of Eevee are going to be. Some are speculating that it's going to be, uh, that Leafeon will not be in there because it seems like the grass are pretty much all figured out. Maybe Espeon, maybe Umbreon, uh, probably a Flareon, maybe, we should say. Um, obviously the Jolteon is going to be there. There could be a Sylveon, but I, I doubt it. But there is space for the possibility of a Sylveon. Uh, so anyway, guys, and there's probably going to be um, at least one water type. So that's just my speculation, my opinion. But anyway, so of course, if we have Eeveelutions, we've got to have Eevee. And so they have the new Eevee card. And it's really good artwork. I mean, it's a great little Eevee. Not as good as the one from Furious Fist, though. That's probably the one that's still going to be used because it has the special uh, ability that if you attach a particular color to it, you can go search for its evolution and evolve right there, even on turn one. So it makes sense that that'll probably be the Eevee. But this one has 60 HP. It has Tackle for 10 for one colorless, and it has Leap Out for double colorless. It'll hit for 30, but you flip a coin, and if tails, the attack does nothing. So there's Eevee for you. The other card we're reviewing uh, in this short update is Registeel. And I'll actually tell you, this card I think could be a tech, uh, could be used. Uh, there's the artwork for you. It looks a little bit nice. Looks nice again. Uh, so I kind of zoomed it in a little bit for you. Uh, so let's look at its attacks. First thing you see is it, it is 120 HP. And for one metal and for one colorless, it has iron head. It does 30 damage. Flip a coin until you get tails. And this attack does 30 times the number of heads. So it's one of those where you're going to 50% of the time get nothing. 25% of the time you'll do 30. And then 25% of the time you'll do more than 30 with the potential of, if you get on a real good heads roll, you could do <laughs> infinite, you know. I mean, I think I flipped eight heads before uh, in a row. So in this case, if you were able to get lucky enough to do eight heads in a row, you would get 240 damage. So uh, it could be good. But I think the second attack is the one that really makes it special, Imprisoning Hammer. 70 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, discard one energy attached to it. I think the reason why this makes a good tech is, first of all, if you add a Muscle Band or a Silver Bangle, you're now hitting 100. You're hitting in that 90 to 100 range, which is perfect for a two-hit KO. Uh, and it allows for you to trade a EX for non-EX. Uh, so this uh, ideally would obviously because it removes an energy from a EX you want to be using it to attack an EX. Now I don't know that you'd be using it to attack non-EXs. I'm just saying that this might make a good tech for maybe Seismitoad uh, though I think Seismitoad's pretty much dead. Uh, this set is going to kill Seismitoad um, but there are other other ones that could be uh, useful for, like Mew EX, if you're going against a Night March, to be able to knock that energy off. Uh, obviously, there's going to be the new Sceptile, uh, Mega Sceptile, so that could be useful. 
Uh, obviously, he's going to do extra damage against Fairy, so to be able to knock an energy off of a Mega Gardevoir or even a Mega Manetric so that they can attack, just to be able to knock that one energy off might keep them from being able to attack next turn. And if they can attack next turn then and they can't retreat, uh, then guess what? You've got uh, a two-hit KO with Reggie Steel. So I do think this card could see some play. It's not going to be like in every deck, but it definitely could uh, be like a tech card in some decks. And most likely, uh, metal makes the most sense, so it'll most likely be in a metal deck. But uh, it could be in other decks too. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. This is Pokey Dad. Uh, be on the lookout for when the cards leak. I'll have my set review. And then also uh, hit like, subscribe, and put some comments uh, down below. Tell me what you think of these cards. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.